last lesson for this week and this is about health for our week 5 of the first quarter for grade 9 last lesson we talk about focus on pollution and now our lesson is about the solutions to all pollution let's proceed now let's start with a activity titled pollution diagram Give at least two examples for each type of pollution that we learned in the previous lesson. Get your mapping notebook and write it there. You can pause the video to start answering your notebook. Alright, let's proceed to our next activity. I will give you 30 seconds to observe about the picture. This is an example of community. You can pause the video to observe. Alright, after observing the picture, let's answer these following questions. Number one, what problems do you see in the picture? If this is your community, what will you do to address these problems? Pause the video and answer the question. Right. After answering the question, let's proceed to our discussion about our new lesson. What is it? Pollution and different types of it were introduced in the last lesson. As a review, we have four types of pollution. Air pollution, land pollution, water pollution, and noise pollution. Let's repeat the four types of pollution. All right, we were also able to examine the different health effects of each type of pollution. Now, let us learn about ways to address different types of pollution in our community. Since most of us are exposed to polluted air daily, we are susceptible to several air irritants and respiratory diseases. To reduce air pollutants, there are a lot of efforts to achieve and maintain healthy air for the community, which include prohibiting smoking in public places, disallowing the use of bladed gasolines, improving improvement of pedestrian and bike lanes to encourage biking and walking and forbidding the burning of waste. For land pollution, on the other hand, is mainly caused by human waste and other refuse materials. Waste refers to things that cannot be recycled, like kitchen waste, human and animal excreta and sewage wastewater. Refuse, on the other hand, includes all disposable materials, both recyclable and non-recyclable 
and include scrap metals, woods used in construction, and other items considered as trash. Effective ways to address pollution problems is through proper waste disposal, zero waste management, which includes composting and recycling, and climate change adaptation projects and activities. Another environmental health issue is proper water management. Water is essential to daily living. Clean and safe water should always be clear, odorless, tasteless, and colorless. There are ways to ensure the safety of the water we are drinking, such as buying distilled water used at home to ensure healthy bodies, boiling water to destroy pathogens, and proper and correct water storage. Other environmental health issues is also include the purchase of environmental and climate-safe products, planting of trees and vegetables, proper waste disposal, recycling, and composting. Some other topics related to environmental health is noise pollution, brought about by urbanization and industrialization. Too much noise affects us physically, mentally, and emotionally. Different noises have different levels, and each has a critical health effect. Normal breathing is 10 decibels. School and classroom noise are about 35 decibels, which traffic noise is 70 decibels. Noise beyond 70 decibels may annoy people and, pro and for prolonged periods may cause permanent damage to the ears. Listening to music through earphones at the maximum volume is around 105 decibel and may cause hearing impairment. It is therefore important to always maintain a healthy daily dose of noise and sound to promote better care for our ears and prevent temporary and even permanent hearing loss. Now, after reading and listening about the solution for different types of pollution, below is a sample of a typical community. Draw your community as you perceive it, including your drawing the types of pollution present in your community and the efforts of the community in addressing this. Color the pollution using gray and the other elements using other colors. For easier interpretation, use a legend to identify what each color represents. Okay. So what is legend? For example, you are going to insert a shape. Okay, let's insert a shape. Okay. Small shape is one. Yeah. Okay, and then the color of that is the color of that is red. Or blue. So this is stands for, uh, for example, this blue, okay, the, the part of the picture that you color blue is air pollution, okay? So you color the part of air pollution color blue, okay? And then, as the instruction says, color the pollution using gray and other elements using other colors, right? For easier interpretation, use a legend to identify what each color represents. Like what I've said, you write here, legend, okay? Blue is for what element, what pollution, okay? Now, let's proceed to what I have learned. We're going to complete the sentences. And get your notebook, then copy to answer. 
Complete the sentences. Number one, noise pollution can cause deafness. We must reduce exposure to noise. So, you continue. Number two, factories release fumes. The air gets polluted. Therefore, you continue. Number three, many people get sick due to contaminated water. That is why we now continue the sentence. And number four, it is important to practice proper waste disposal because yeah, it's your turn to continue that. Now let's proceed to another performance task. Okay, what I can do. Your barangay is asking help from the youth to educate the community members about the ways to address pollution. So as part of the youth and because of the new normal setting, close distance and face-to-face -face interaction are not possible, you and your friends plan on making an infographic instead. So what is that infographic? You're going to use the social media. Okay. So do a sample of your poster. On a sheet of a long band paper or short band paper, whatever paper that you want, that you are going to make a post, okay? Okay, a poster about ways to address pollution, okay? And then post it in your social media account, all right? But don't forget, as you finish your poster, Submit it in our Google Classroom, okay? Before sending it in your social media, and then uh, we'll give you two days, okay? So today is Friday, so we have Saturday and Sunday. I know, I think uh, one week. See, I will give you one week. So let us see how many likes you can get, how many shares from your followers. Okay. All right. For your assessment, okay. I will send this in our Google Classroom. Okay, you are going to answer that through Google Forms. You are going to identify what pollution is that. Okay. Next, additional activities. Be an environmental influencer. All right. So as you can see on the picture video blogger so you are going to make a blog okay but think of this okay put yourself as a environment advocate okay you are an environment advocate and a blogger at the same time you want your next blog to be about pollution and ways to prevent it your target audience are teenagers like you okay make a video of not more than five minutes but not less than two minutes. Make it highly informative and visually appealing. Okay? So you're going to submit this blog, okay, in our Google Classroom. All right? So, and then I will check it, okay? For your information, your teacher, Jane, is also a blogger, okay? So I hope that you are going to submit your own video blog and let us see. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Happy weekend. And again, this is Teacher Jalen. Always saying, new normal education. Kung kaya nila, ay kaya mo rin. Ating alamin. Tayo'y laging manalangin sa ikabubuti natin. Bye-bye.